How to know if a substance is pure in chromatography. If you're curious about how to determine if a substance is pure using chromatography, you're in the right place. Let's break it down step by step. First, let's understand what purity means in chemistry. A pure substance is one that consists only of a single element or compound without any other substances mixed in. For example, pure water boils at exactly 100 degrees Celsius and melts at exactly zero degrees Celsius. If it's impure, it will boil and melt over a range of temperatures. Now let's talk about chromatography. This technique is used to separate mixtures into their individual components. One common method is paper chromatography. Here's how it works. You draw a line near the bottom of a piece of paper with a pencil, because pencil marks won't dissolve in the solvent. Then, you place a small amount of the substance you want to test on this line. Next, you put the paper in a tank with a solvent, making sure the solvent doesn't touch the substance directly. As the solvent moves up the paper, it carries the different components of the substance with it. These components will move at different rates, separating out into distinct spots. To determine if a substance is pure, you look at the chromatogram, the final result of the chromatography process. If the substance is pure, you'll see a single spot on the paper. If it's impure, you'll see multiple spots indicating that the substance is made up of different components. Another way to check purity is by calculating the RF value, or retention factor, for each spot. The RF value is calculated by dividing the distance the substance traveled by the distance the solvent traveled. Different substances have different RF values, so by comparing these values to known values, you can identify the components and determine if the substance is pure or a mixture. In more advanced chromatography techniques, like liquid chromatography, peak purity is assessed using spectral data. Here, the purity of a peak is determined by comparing the spectra across the peak to ensure they are similar. If the spectra diverge, it indicates the presence of impurities. Software tools like those from Agilent and Shimadzu use algorithms to calculate purity angles and thresholds to determine if a peak is spectrally pure. So, to sum it up, you can tell if a substance is pure by checking its melting and boiling points, using chromatography to separate its components, and analyzing the resulting chromatogram or spectral data. These methods help ensure that the substance is free from impurities and consists of only one element or compound.